What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Vaporeon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, put it below in the comment section of the video. And if you enjoy these videos, if they get you thinking, drop a like and let's get into it. So, continuing along with the evolutions, we're going to have a look at Vaporeon. So, Vaporeon's best stat is its health of 130 base and its special attack and special defense. So, overall, it's quite a bulky Pokemon with a nice special attacking stat. Now, this makes it quite a good candidate for a bulky car mindset or even a sweeper. So, the abilities we've got here is just water absorb and hydration. So... They're not too bad abilities, so you can either, uh, you know, use it along or maybe on a team where you can sort of bait out a water type move, or you can use it on the rain uh, teams, which is pretty good. The good thing about water absorb too is when you come across maybe an opposing uh, bulky water Pokemon or another water Pokemon, they can't do any damage to you and it's going to heal you. So let's have a look at this set. So this is going to be a bulky car mindset. You can probably do it a couple of ways. We're going to be building this one uh, like defensively. So with the EV spread, we've got max health. And it's got so much health, which is really, really good. And its defense stat isn't very good. So it's always good to, uh, you know, max that out as well. And uh, bold nature. Uh, last little bit, I just put it into special defense. Uh, my item is going to be leftovers, which is going to be uh, handy. So we've got Scald. Scald's a great water move. 80 base power. And you've got a 30% chance to burn. It's going to be very, very good. And you've got Calm Mind. Uh, so that's going to increase your special attack and special defense. So even though we haven't put anything in the special defense, it's going to increase that and the special attack too. It's got a pretty good base special attack already. So even after one Calm Mind, it's going to hit, you know, hit pretty hard. And we've got Wish for uh, healing up and or passing on to anyone else on your team. And Ice Beam just for coverage as well. Now, the Terra type is interesting on this Pokemon because you could run it a couple of ways. I've got Terra Poison on here because any sort of sets, uh, this is more, this is definitely more geared towards singles. Um, I, I do have double sets as well, um, so we'll get to them. So, this is more geared towards, uh, this Terra definitely is more geared towards uh, singles. So, with Terra Poison, uh, I put that on there because any sort of sets that are bulky boosting sets, very, very hard to faint. Usually, uh, fall victims are like uh, toxic. So, with Terra Poison, you can get around that rather nicely. Um, if you want some extra base power, you could do Terra Water as well, like more in your skull. Um, if you were running on, like, say, a Hail or some, sorry, Snow Team, you could go Terra Ice. Uh, if you wanted to get around any electric type moves, you could opt for Terra Ground. That's always a good one, too. Because uh, Vaporeon has very, very little weaknesses. Another ones I've seen too, you could even have Terra Fire if you really wanted to as well. So that would be kind of smart there with the Water Absorb too. Or you could uh, you could get rid of Ice Beam and teach a Terra Blast. But that's not a bad one there, Terra, uh, Terra Fire with Water Absorb. So a couple of options there for a bulky Calm Mind uh, boosting uh, Vaporeon set. This is going to be running probably best, I'd say, in um, in singles because it's, it's be quite difficult to. Uh, you're not really using wish uh, too much in uh, in doubles. So we've got on the next set we got here now. Quite often, Vaporeon is used as more like a wish passer or support or calm mind, but it actually can run a pretty nice choice spec set um, or at worst assault vest. But we'll have a look at the choice spec set anyway. So. This one is a much more offensive, so we've got max health, obviously, and max special attack with Modest Nature, which is going to be pretty good. And uh, now we got Hydro Pump as a very, very powerful water type move. If you don't want to run that, you could run Surf on there if you're worried about, like, missing and stuff like that. This could actually probably work in doubles, too. So, if like, singles Hydro, uh, Surf, or Muddy Water for, for doubles... So Muddy Water. Muddy Water is pretty good because you don't hit like your ally. Unless you want to hit your ally and they've got Water Absorb or, I know, Storm Drain or something like that too. So to, you know, whatever you're doing, right? So we'll, we'll just leave it at Surf for now. So powerful Water type move. Uh, Ice Beam, which is already good for coverage. Uh, Terra Blast Ground, I gave it. I like Terra Blast Ground on Water Pokemon. It just works very well. And we've got Shadow Ball just as a coverage move. Now, if you don't like getting locked into stuff like this, you can give it a Salt Vest. Uh, that'll give you some extra special defensive bulk, which is quite nice and allows you to, you know, definitely live a lot more uh, you know, 
hits, like especially like special electric hits and grass and stuff like that. And you've got the option of picking some other moves, which can be good. Uh, another one I like on this as well, uh, if you want to swap your Terror up, is Terror Fire. That Terrifier Water Absorb is, you know, is going to be quite nice there. You can bait out a, a water-type move, and you can heal yourself up rather nicely. Um, yeah, so that, that's another way of running Vaporeon. Now, it is to be noted that Vaporeon can be run well on rain teams as well. So, the example, you could have a, uh, a Pelope be setting up the rain there, um, or this could set up as rain itself. So, we're going to have a look at the ability Hydration. Uh, what Hydration does is it uh, cures any status at the end of each turn if a Rain Dance is active. So, it's very, very good on like, like silly, like bulky sets or just getting rid of status. So... You can run some like crazy stuff like Acid Armor, uh, which makes Vaporeon like really, really bulky because it's got a very high special defensive stat already. So you can build it like, this is just like an example. So I've got like max health, of course, and we've got max special defense with Calm uh, dropping that attack. So we've got Acid Armor to uh, boost up its defense. And while it's raining, you can use Rest. And then at the end of the uh, turn, Rest will wake you up instantly due to uh, hydration. So... You can heal yourself up to full head. Basically, it's like you can be able to heal yourself up with, uh, you know, virtually no repercussions there, which is pretty nice, as long as the rain is active. That's probably the only weakness of this set. So I guess I would probably try and get the uh, acid armors up while the rain is going and go from there. Uh, and you've got Scold and Ice Beam as well. My dog Asa is running around in my uh, office at the moment because I, I, the door's shut itself. So <laughs> hopefully you don't hear in the background. So... Another move you could run on here as well if you're worried, like really, really worried about, I don't know, the rain running out. You could put rain dance on there yourself. Like that, that's another option. But uh, yeah, you could. There's, there's, there's a lot of things that uh, Vaporeon could do. You, you could even just run uh, like an offensive set like this one as well uh, in the rain if you wanted to. You probably wouldn't have a self vest and specs, so you could have something like. Uh, let's let's think about this. So Shadow Ball. I could get rid of Shadow Ball. That's probably. Not even that needed that much. You're not going to use it. You could have rest on there as well and have hydration. I probably wouldn't run fire then. I'd probably run something like ground because you're not going to get water absorb anymore. So I would change it up. And as for item, um, you could have... I don't know. You, you could have like maybe life orb. Like life orb is interesting because you can heal yourself off. So you do like even more damage. So that could be either good for... Forget about the new name specs, by the way. Uh, just you could use that in singles or doubles as well. That could be uh, rather interesting. Uh, singles, you probably could opt for um, Hydro Pump instead of uh, Surf. Surf, you could go for doubles and Ice Beam for Ice Beam for singles. Or if you don't want to run Ice Beam in doubles, you can always run Icy Win. Uh, that's going to be quite good for support too dropping the opponent's speed and stuff like that too. So that's another option that you could probably go for. Another interesting one you could have on there also is Terra Electric. That could work too, just getting around any electric type moves aimed at you. Then you're only weak to like ground then. And then, you know, what's a ground type Pokemon going to come and do? Like, you know, you're going to just destroy them with uh, like a water move so or an ice move. So that's going to be quite a, like a low key fire Terra type on Vaporeon as well. If you've got any other uh, Terra types or... You know, that sort of thing. Suggestions, let me know. But I, I feel like I've covered all the best ones there. Um, so we've gone over the rain team. Let's have a look now at some um, doubles and like VGC. So we already sort of touched a fair bit on that already. Um, I'm going to suggest a couple of doubles ones here because you can do a little bit. So if I was to... We'll just delete that for a second. So this one here, I've sort of... This is just like an example. You could run this with something like Rillaboom, for example. Like with Grassy Grassy Surge, because that'd be quite good, for, quite a good partner for um for Vaporeon as well. That will cover Rillaboom's weakness. Uh, well, they cover each other's weaknesses. So this would have Grassy Surge, right? And I you know you could have like I don't know Terrain Extender or something or whatever. And then you could have uh, the Vaporeon have um, Grassy Seed, so that would increase its defense by one stage. Uh, why the grassy when the grassy train is active with uh, Rillaboom. So just keep that in mind. So this is going to have a Muddy Water Icy Wind set. Uh, we've got Protect and Helping Hand. So you can run this alongside a Pokemon that uh, does a lot of damage. It doesn't have to be Rillaboom, but you know, with this kind of works for the grassy terrain. So yeah, this one is a little bit more evolved than my other ones here. So this is Max Health. I always love to run Max Health on Vaporeon. 
gives it great overall bowl. Um, I've done 116 in special defense with calm nature, and I've got 140 in special attack. So uh, the reason I did that is so I'm able to do some like some decent damage there. If you just want it to be like pure support, which there's nothing wrong with that either, I I probably would. I probably would opt for a more defensive set because the defense is, is kind of bad. So I'd even go, you could even go bold there. Straight up bold if you don't want to do that. And that way you'd be able to live uh, physical attacks a lot better then too. Uh, or with the grass, if, say, okay, say if we keep the grassy seed, we could do something like, let's say calm. Okay, we'll do, we'll do calm if we're going to keep the grassy seed. And yeah, that'll give it all, like really nice all round bulk there. And then you've got like muddy water. Muddy water is really good too because you've got that. Um, 30% chance to drop the accuracy. And, you know, it's, it's going to be better than Surf. Unless you've got something, like, hyper-specific on your team. So, let's say, for example, you had... Let's bring up some Water Absorb Pokemon, because there are some good... Say, like, Ogre Pond Wellspring on there or something like that, or, or a Clod Sire. Um, your Poly, your Politoed, you'd have Drizzle anyway, so that'd be, like, uh, Politoed and if you're running a Rain team. Uh, maybe a Quagsire, or anything like that. Any Water Absorb Pokemon or a Storm Drain Pokemon too. And you know what I mean? Like um, Gastrodon. I was just thinking like on the spot there. So Gastrodon. Uh, yeah, Tatsugiri if it wasn't running Commander, which would be a bit strange. But yeah, uh, you could do Commander. But um, yeah, that's just, just an example uh, for that. And then you've got Protect and Helping Hand as well. So Helping Hand's going to be quite good. And with this like extra bulk you've given it, it's going to be able to you know, live a lot of attacks there at least. And uh, help out an ally Pokemon. So some Pokemon I would suggest there. I've done a, I, I did the Rillaboom already. I've, I've suggested a couple. Um, anything that's going to be able to, I would say, any anything can get around like electric Pokemon, or, or grass. Really, uh, that's what that, that's what it really. So we could look at ground Pokemon as well. That could be something to look at. So I've I've done a couple of suggestions already. So we got like. You've got like Landorus, that's quite a good, uh, that's quite good as well. Um, you've got some other ones here as well, like uh, Great Tusk, and you've got um, probably not so much that, but yeah, they're, 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 you're probably, I'd say, I would say Landorus isn't too bad there either. And any other, any other like just, I think any other teammates could be, you could even, if you like Evolutions, you could, uh, you can maybe even have Jolteon along with it as well. Like a Jolteon with Voltors or I'm just thinking like that could be you could have some nice uh, team synergy and stuff uh, stuff like that as well. So if you wanted like a whole evolution team, you could have like the full like water absorb, volt absorb, flash fire, you know, Flareon and stuff like that. Um, I know a few people like their evolutions. Um what was that up to here? So yeah, uh, this is the the rest one I had. This is my next one here. I know it's it's kind of similar, but it's a little bit different. So it's it's using um, rain sort of teams. You're like the Pelipar and Politoed and stuff like that. So we've got a uh, Terratite Water, um, if you have powerful muddy waters and icy winds. Or if you want to change it to Surf, you can. It's up to you what you bring on your team. Uh, Covert Cloak is the item, so you're not going to get like uh, those secondary effects like Fake Out, etc., flinching and annoying stuff like that because Fake Prone is very slow. Um, yeah, so Offensive EVs there, Modest Nature, and Hydration, so you can go rest and then heal yourself up. So kind of kind of similar to what I was uh, talking about there before, right? I, I, I found this pretty good for that. I, I just, I think it's... I don't think it's to be underestimated as a, a special attacker as well, because it still hits like pretty hard. But most people, most people don't run it fully, fully special like that. Um, I think it's got some uh, pretty good uh, uh, capability there. So that's uh, that's what I would go for for doubles and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just trying to think. There's uh, any other good support moves it could have. It does get haze and stuff like that, but that's probably better for like. It's a small bit, like, I think that'd be more suited for, like, uh, singles and stuff like that. Um, where it's uh, not facing, like, two Pokemon, in in my opinion. So, I mean, you could, but I think, I think it's a bit slow. So, yeah, maybe I was going to go back to the days where I had, like, uh, it used to have Heal Bell and stuff like that. But I think that's all gone now. So, let's have a look at some more Mimi sets here. We've got a Pip Knight special here. So... This is terrible. So Vaporeon on the physical side is terrible, but I thought of a cool way you could, you know, you could actually use it. So we've got um, that is, is, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of okay. I've used this before; it's pretty fun. So we've got Trailblaze to increase its speed by one. We've got Waterfall for flinching. 
We got Terra Blast Ground to get her any electric types and Last Resort just for some coverage there because you'll probably find you'll use all of these moves before you use that. Uh, and then we got Weakness Policy uh, if it gets hit by a super effective move. It's got pretty good bulk, so it's going to be able to... Um, it's going to be hard to live that uh, pretty well. And yeah, you could go from... Uh, you could absolutely go from there and try and uh, sweep. Probably better for singles, though, I would say. Uh, out of nature, max uh, max attack and max speed as the EVs. And yeah, that's uh, that wouldn't be too bad. Another one you could use... I'm just thinking now. Let's look up electric Pokemon. Just thinking some more... Uh, just in case the... Oh, I'm thinking of DLC too. If you do have like... Well, Regilecki wouldn't be too bad as well, depending on what you're playing. Um, Electivire wouldn't be all that bad either. I know it's not in the game at the moment, but if it does come in the game due to the DLC, you could uh, you could always use that alongside it as well. That's not too... You know, if you wanted to use like uh, another electric Pokemon on your rain team, that could work. Um, think of like some rain teams. Like Pelipar... Would be good. You got you got like two range there. You got like Pelipper and Politoed are always uh, you know pretty good. And you got like some other ones. You could have like bulky ones like a Lobomola too. So yeah, I, I would have Gastrodon though. If I was running a a, a rain one, I would absolutely have Gastrodon. I know I did mention this, but uh, you could have the uh, Water Immunity as well. Um, you know, with some other handy moves. That could definitely be really, really good with Storm Drain. Um, yeah. So let's have a final look at Vaporeon. It is. It's not like a, a like a lot of the uh, evolutions. It isn't a Pokemon that can do tons and tons of things. It can do some things, but that's about it. Uh, let's have a look at its status moves. So we went over Acid Arm. Oh, it can Baton Pass as well. We can do like these. I've seen like these before. Like people do like these, like Acid Armor, Calm Mind, Baton Pass sort of sets uh, to make it really tanky. And then use like uh, I think I've seen someone just use Stored Power. Like seriously, this is, this is all they did. Like I'll give you an example. Like. So they tried like, you know, stally sets like this, you know, like bold and like stored power. I seen that, um, or they just pass it off onto another EV and <laughs> EV illusion, then use like stored power. But yeah, you could have something, I guess you could have something like that. Or if you wanted to do it by itself, you could do that. So they can pretty much all have the bulk to do that. But you know, it depends if it gets like shut down by like a dark type or just hit hard before it can even set those boosts up there. Let me go back to its status moves here. So we've got... I did mention Haze already, which isn't too bad. Um, you could have a... It does have Roar and Yawn, so you might be able to do a bulky uh, phasing set with uh, Roar. Um, that could be a problem. But any, any electric types... Uh, there's so many counters to this Pokemon. It's not like any electric types and stuff like that. Grass are going to be a, a definite big problem for it. Um, it's got some other moves. It got is Ackering, so you can, might be able to do like an Ackering and Leftover set that um, gives you double recovery. I always find Ackering hard to fit onto Vaporeon. Those normally are, are like better moves it could you could possibly have, right? And yeah, that's about it for its. Oh, we we have a physical set as well. You can go like a full physical set. So I did one of these. It was like I uh, wish like a fully physical one. It's a pit night special here, so. Yeah, we'll go Liquidation, that's alright. And we'll have like... Whoa, trail... Uh, Trailblaze, I guess. But we could have some, just a coverage move. So, yeah, we'll go Last Resort. That'll be alright. So, yeah. So you could do like something crazy like this too. Any any bulky Curse Mon that has a decent stat on one side. And uh, you can increase like one of its stats. Always works rather well with this. So, yeah. So a, a nice little gimmicky set there. Main, I'd say this may, that would mainly work better for singles and stuff like that. And then you could have like, uh, well, you could either have rest and rain dance, or you could have like wish, and you could have like uh, terror fire as well if you want it all. Terror electric would be okay. You could have terror electric. Go for terror electric. That's pretty good. So then it's only weak to ground, so then you can go liquidation. It's pretty easy. So another like a bulky boosting curse set. All right, I I think we're I think we're almost. Almost through all this. Let's have a look at its special moves anyway. Um, for doubles, you might be able to run on a on a, a ice uh, snow sort of team there. So you could have uh, Terra Ice and Blizzard that could work, and then we and you could have also have like um, a Surf on there as well. Sorry, Muddy Water and Blizzard that could definitely work. Um, it does get Weather Ball, which is pretty cool now. So you could have like a Weather Ball if you want to run that on an oval on the snow too. But you're probably better off running Blizzard. Um, nothing. 
Nothing to... Uh, you've got chilling water too. Maybe you could run that on a super bulky like set like that. Um, a curse one I was talking about. That, or like a, a special one. Like chilling water would be great for dropping the opponent's attack. But most of the time you're going to be running scold anyway. I don't think too many times you're going to be doing scold over... Uh, chilling water over scold. And yeah, there's not too much else there. And let's have a look at its physical... Oh, Flip Turn. Okay, Flip Turn isn't all that bad. Say, maybe on, like, a support one. Or, yeah, like a support set, you might be able to fit that on there. But I think there's better moves. Like, you've got, like, Scold and Ice Beam and just insert a couple of, uh, like, uh, other support moves or Calm Mind and stuff like that. And, yeah, uh, this this bulky... Probably, like, stuff like this bulky Calm Mind one is, is pretty good. That I, I see that probably being the most uh, useful set out of all of them. In my opinion, you could, I reckon you could probably even get away with Calm Mind in doubles too. Like, you could have Calm Mind and Muddy Water and ice, Icy Wind. You could have that. Like, you literally could have this as well. If in, um, Like, I already... I think I sort of already explained this, but... You could have just a uh, special attacking one. That could work too. So, whatever you uh, want uh, to do there. And my, my dog is sort of barking at the door now so uh let's have a look at some last last minute things here man vaporon only does a few things i wish i hope in the future games we get a couple a couple of extra moves you know what i mean you could do some crazy like this this is another one i had like a blunder policy set oops and uh, check this one out so we've got blunder policy hydro pump this is a uh, a true pimp knight special here so we're gonna go a speedy vaporeon I've actually used this before. It's pretty funny uh, when it, they all land. It's, obviously, it's a it's a complete luck set. So you got Hydro Pump Blizzard, which is pretty nice. So you've got uh, that increase in speed. And since it's already quite a slow Pokemon, uh, when it's fast and hitting these moves, it's, it's kind of nice. Um, so you've got its two main moves there. I'd give it Terra... Terra Fire. That would be pretty good. Or And... Terra... Terra Fire, Terra Blast. And then you can give it... Maybe, maybe, maybe you don't want to rely on Hydro Pump all the time, and you could just give it like, hmm, you could give it a uh, Surf or something like that. I don't know. Um, I think that's what I did, or I gave it. What are the status moves that I have? Oh, I think I gave it Calm. I gave it Calm Mind. So there you go, a speedy Calm Mindset with Blunder Policy. I think you'll be able to get it activated too because. Yeah, uh, Hydro Pump isn't that uh, accurate. Anyway, people, that's about it for the Vaporeon uh, Musa Guide. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back with another one later on, probably like Espeon or something like that. All right, people. Peace out.